Hey, my name is Rachel. Glad you could make it. Another variation of the heavy metal detox smoothie. Got our two bananas, have a whole orange, a bit of cilantro, two cups of wild blueberries, some dulse. I added in a quarter teaspoon of barley grass juice powder, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and a quarter teaspoon of some amla powder. This is new for me. It's just full of antioxidants. It's from Rodin Medical Medium and in How Not to Die by Dr. Greger, so it's just fab. Also put in two handfuls, about two cups of some fresh spinach and blended it all with some water and then took my one spiralina tablet with it. In case you haven't picked up on this, this is the what I ate in a day video during quarantine. Getting in my Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen as well as keeping out those medical medium no foods. So all these whole plant foods, vegan, gluten-free, good stuff. I finally gotten back on with the heavy metal detox smoothie. If you've been with me for a while, you know, like I have had some like pretty intense reactions to it. And it seems that this um, amount has been good for me. Like I only have a quarter teaspoon of barley grass juice powder, just a little bit of dulse, one spirulina tablet. And those are just the three ingredients that seem to give me issues, like the cilantro and the fruit, like I don't seem to have any issues with. But yeah, I've been having those along with doing the Daily Dozen, which is the new thing. Like I haven't had the heavy metal detox smoothie since being on the Daily Dozen, but I've been having it every day for about a week now. And I didn't really notice any increase in my headaches or any changes in my mood, which were like the big triggers for me from the smoothie. So really excited about that and that I'm tolerating it well. I definitely am starting to feel better mentally just given the whole crazy quarantine situation. I feel like I'm starting to settle into a routine. My brain isn't constantly being like, what on earth is happening? Like I've gotten into a more state of acceptance. It's not like I'm like optimistic about it. I'm just not consumed with thinking about it all the time. Like I'm able to focus on other things, which is great. I already got in my workout for the day. I did a yoga class at home. Uh, my yoga studio that I I normally go to here in LA, Moto Yoga LA. I'll link them down below if you want to do the Instagram lives too. But yeah, they've been having Instagram live classes every day, like multiple classes, different styles. You know, normally it's like a hot yoga class and I just set up my heaters like around my yoga mat. And it was honestly really nice. I'm so glad that I did that. And then I also went on a little walk for some errands. I went to the bank. The thing that's definitely been helping keep me semi-sane during all of this is being able to go on walks outside. In California, they just shut down all of the hiking trips. So that's a bummer because I love going on hikes so far I'm still allowed to go on walks in my neighborhood and I was just going on like really nice long walks like listening to audiobooks and all that stuff all Right, I'm just gonna keep having my breakfast. This is honestly like it's really late in the day. It's already 1 23 p.m. Oh also for just so you know today is March 24th things are changing rapidly. So this is March 24th in California USA my hair is still drying, so it looks a little crazy, but I'm having, I guess this is lunch. So I just made some air fryer fries this morning. I prepped my potatoes by steaming them first, just some gold potatoes, cut them up into little fries, and then I steam them for about 20 minutes in my steamer basket. And then I put them in my air fryer for about 25 minutes, super crispy and good. And then I'm just having a bit of organic ketchup with me. I get the kind from Trader Joe's. Pretty clean, there's no like citric acid in it or anything. So good, they're hot though. I let you sit. This is my lunch. Right, we're settling in for some dinner. I just made 
I don't know, a big bowl of stuff. I started out with some millet. I've just been batch cooking millet. It's a gluten-free grain. It's super delicious if you've never tried it. And some great northern beans just from the can and having up my lime. I was preparing my garlic. Got some chopped dill, some chopped onion, about half of an avocado. And I just put in some purple cabbage on top and then added in all my chopped stuff. I pressed on my lime juice, put on that crushed garlic, a tablespoon of flax seeds, added coconut aminos, a bit of tahini. And then I decided to add some arugula in there last minute. My bowl didn't look vegetable-y enough, so added some arugula and just mixed it all together. Super flavorful, there's plenty of fresh herbs in here. Checking off a bunch of stuff from the Daily Dozen for sure. Mm. If you've never had millet, it's smaller than rice. It's more like a, a couscous, but a little bigger than a couscous. And I don't know, it has like a nutty, hearty flavor. Like it's sort of like corn and oats. Yeah, I definitely recommend giving millet a try if you're looking for more gluten-free grain options, or even if you're not gluten-free, it's still an ancient grain, you know? Also drinking some water with this. I had water with my potatoes earlier, I didn't show. I think after this I'm done eating for the day. I may have an apple or two before bed. Editing Rachel, did I have apple? Apples? Good to know! <laughs> this has been everything that I've eaten in a day. I met all my daily dozen goals. I kept up those medical medium no foods. And yeah, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. You can subscribe to my channel. We're putting out new videos every Monday and sometimes Thursday. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about all that's going on right here. And as always, thank you so much for being here. Goodbye! What should I call these? Is this a Buddha bowl? Is it just a grain bowl? Tell me, please.